from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, May the 11th, 2022. A veteran Palestinian journalist was killed today during operations in the Janine refugee camp in the West Bank. It is unclear at the moment who unintentionally shot 51-year-old Shireen Abu Akleh, who was also a U.S. citizen. The Palestinian Authority is blaming Israel, but Israel says it was likely Palestinian gunmen. The incident took place during an IDF operation to apprehend terrorist suspects in the refugee camp after a wave of deadly terror attacks in Israel, where the IDF tweeted tens of Palestinian gunmen fired at and hurled explosive devices toward the soldiers. The soldiers responded with fire toward the gunmen. The IDF also shared video showing Palestinian gunmen firing recklessly. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said, according to the information we have gathered, it appears likely that armed Palestinians who were firing indiscriminately at the time were responsible for the unfortunate death of the journalist. Bennett said Israel has called on the Palestinians to conduct a joint investigation of the incident, which the Palestinians refused, though there were later reports today of cooperation. IDF Chief of Staff Aviv Kochavi said about the incident, at this point it is not possible to determine the source of the gunfire which killed her, referring to Abu Akleh, and we express our sorrow over her death. He said a special team has been set up to get to the truth of what happened. Later today, Israel police said a Palestinian lunged at them, holding a suspicious object like a knife, shouting Allah Akbar, God is great in Arabic. Police shot at the man who was taken to the hospital in serious condition. Well, Lufthansa issued an apology after the report saying that all identifiably Jewish passengers were barred from their connecting Lufthansa flight last week after some were not wearing masks. The airline issued a statement saying on May the 4th, a large number of passengers were denied boarding on their onward flight. We regret that the large group was denied boarding rather than limiting it to the non-compliant guests, adding we have no tolerance for racism, anti-Semitism, and discrimination of any type. Jewish organizations rejected the statement. The American Jewish Committee said Lufthansa's quote-unquote apology makes no mention of the fact that it was Jews specifically who were denied boarding the plane. The Anti-Defamation League said this non-apology fails to admit fault or identify the banned passengers as Jews. It also refers to them as a group, even though many were strangers. They had one commonality, being visibly Jewish. The Pulitzer Prize for Fiction this year went to a satirical novel about the family of former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The Netanyahu's by Joshua Cohen imagines a visit by Netanyahu's father, Ben Sion, and family to a college town in the U.S. in 1959, based on an actual visit by the elder Netanyahu to Cornell, where he was professor of Judaic studies from 1971 to 75. Cohen was previously awarded Israel's 2013 Matanel Prize for Jewish Writers. And the nominations for the 2022 Tony Awards were announced this week, recognizing the best of Broadway. Among the Jewish nominees, Billy Crystal for Best Lead Actor in a Musical for Mr. Saturday Night, which was also nominated for Best Musical. Crystal and Jewish writers Lowell Gans and Babalu Mandel were also nominated for Best Book of a Musical, Shoshana Bean for Best Performance by an Actress in a Featured Role, and composer and lyricists Jason Robert Brown and Amanda Green, respectively, nominated for Best Original Score. Green, by the way, is the daughter of Tony-winning composer Adolph Green. Other Jewish artists nominated for Tonys include Adam Godley for Best Lead Actor in a Play for the Lehman Trilogy, the play's director Sam Mendes also nominated, and several Jewish playwrights saw their revived works recognized. Nominations for Best Revival of a Play included American Buffalo by David Mamet and Take Me Out by Richard Greenberg. Best Revival of a Musical included Tony Kushner's Caroline or Change and the late Stephen Sondheim's Company. 
Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, May the 11th at 7 o'clock. It's Talmud Study at 7.30. Meet the Young Women Breaking the Glass Ceiling in the IDF. At 8, Letty Cotton Pogrebin sits with daughters Abigail and Robin Pogrebin to talk about their work, family, and Jewish identity. At 9, Rita Robin Long talks about her experience on the Kent State Campus during the tragic events there on May the 4th of 1970. At 10, Robert Siegel asks if we're on the verge of a new Cold War. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, May the 11th, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.